All right. Another jacket, another jacket. Uh, this is the top dead center from Speed and Strength. Uh, very nice looking jacket. It's a textile jacket. It's not the leather. Um, I got this as a replacement for my Seven Sins. You guys might have seen my review on my black and white Seven Sins jacket. Um, that one was a little bit big on me, so I actually went and purchased a size large uh, Seven Sins jacket. Absolutely loved it, but for some reason, I never had any troubles with my first Seven Sins, but my second one I got uh, on the inside seam of both elbows, the seam started to separate and the fabric was coming apart. Uh, but the good thing is I called Speed and Strength, I sent them a picture of the jacket, told them what was going on, and uh, they were more than willing to replace it. Now the Seven Sins has apparently been discontinued, uh, and now the Top Dead Center, although it's not a direct replacement, it sits in the same spot in the, uh, the lineup of textile jackets that Speed and Strength offers. Uh, this, a uh, couple of differences, the top dead center does not have a zip out warmth line. Uh, the jacket you get is what you get. It's got outside is obviously uh, textile inside. You have um, whatever you call this material. It's uh, real breathable. Uh, keeps your skin from getting chafed from the outside fabric. It helps wick away sweat when you're riding and also it lets air circulate very easily through the jacket. Uh, one of the other things this one has or one of the things that this one has that the Seven Sins didn't is this has the uh, little zipper here that you can zip into your pants. It's got the other side of the zipper as well that I've taken off. So you can, you know, take the other side here, you can sew that into any pair of pants and make them compatible with the uh, zipper system here. Uh, another thing that this one has that the Seven Sins didn't is this one comes with a uh, back pad that's CE approved. So this one has an actual CE back pad in it, whereas the Seven Sins just had a non-CE approved back pad. Now the armor inside this particular jacket is different from the Seven Sins. The Seven Sins actually used a uh, uh, Knox armor, uh, CE approved of course. This uses another armor, and I, I'm not sure if it's specifically made for uh, speed and strength or if it's something you can buy on the market. Uh, I haven't been able to find too much information on it, but it's called vault armor. Now the vault armor, is a, it feels a lot thinner, and it's more rubbery than the Knox armor. And to be honest with you, it doesn't feel like it can offer the same amount of protection, although it is CE uh, certified just like the Knox armor. Uh, when I got this jacket, I actually pulled the vault armor out and replaced it with the Knox armor because uh, the Knox armor just feels more robust to me. It seems like it would be safer, although I can't find any information to, to prove that point or to prove other. But uh, I've got actually Knox armor in this one except for the back pad. The back pad is the same CE approved back pad that came with the uh, jacket. Obviously. Uh, I've got the blue because my bike's blue and all my gear is blue. This is a size large. I'm six foot tall, 220 pounds. Uh, this has a much improved Velcro system over the Seven Sins. The Seven Sins buckled on the outside here, so you always had a you know a little Velcro strap sticking out the outside of your arm here. This one is on the top of the arm. You got a little neoprene uh, or microfiber area here that makes it crumple up very well and this one has a lot more adjust adjustment in the than the seven cents did as far as uh, size uh, I've got fairly skinny wrists so that works out well for me so from here you pull this down and over a uh, lot lower profile you don't have pieces sticking out like you did in the seven sins um, I've heard some people say that the velcro doesn't work well and maybe that was an older model of the uh, or an um, unupdated model of the top dead center jacket but I haven't had any issues uh, mine hold nice and tight uh, Binti just like the seven sins you have the zip open fits here in the bicep so when you're in the riding position you see these things gape open and they really drive a lot of air in uh, behind you right here you have another zipper opening this is an outlet so as you can see right here the air comes in your bicep 
and it leaves the jacket here in the back area. Uh, the vents work remarkably well. You can actually, on a really hot day, you can feel the air circulating behind your back. It feels great. Uh, just like the Seven Sims also, inside here, you have belt loops. You can put these around your belt, or you can just loop it around an actual belt loop here. And what that's going to do is while you're riding, if you're tucked or leaned over, if you're on a sport bike, it's going to keep your jacket from riding up. And also, if you crash, it's going to make sure that you have full coverage here. So it's going to keep your jacket down here and not let it ride up where your skin can get uh, injured. Uh, zippers all work very well. Uh, one issue I did have, though, uh, on the inside of the arms here, they did add a... Uh, adjuster so you can adjust the inside of here to make the armor fit on you properly. Uh, the inside of the arm and down the inside of the uh, the uh, middle of the jacket they've added a, a ripstop material. So all the blue here and all the white is a, uh, a really heavy duty textile and then all this black area you see is actually a, a nylon ripstop and the reason they put this here uh, number one, it shaved off some weight. It's very, very light. And number two, this material is very small. So when you move around, it allows the, uh, the jacket to not be so tough and restricting, especially when you're in a, you know, arms are out and you're in a sport riding position. Um, very nice jacket. It's comfortable. It looks very sharp. It's got the big TPR speed and strength here. It's got the TPRs at the top of the shoulders as well as some little uh, top dead center patches. Uh, on our elbows here, we got some accordion stretch panels. And basically that makes it so as you bend your arm and it pulls your, uh, your armor down, this little panel is able to extend so you don't tear up your jacket and it keeps it fitted nice. Uh, we also have those, if you can see right here on the back, that keeps it so when your shoulders come around, those stretch accordion panels allow you to have a really uh, high range of motion when you're wearing your jacket. Uh, that's one of the things that the, top, uh, the Seven Sins lacked. There was no accordion panel, so when you're bringing your shoulders forward, it was very restricting when you had your jacket on. Uh, so I like this jacket a lot. I do wish that it had a, a warmth liner in it because during the, the fall and early spring here in Georgia, it does get a little bit chilly. Uh, and if you get, you know, this jacket fits me correctly, so I can't wear a sweater underneath it, and I can't wear extra clothing or layers underneath it other than, you know, silk weight or uh, Under Armour type stuff that's really thin because the proper fitting doesn't allow any extra room in there. Uh, up here on the collar, it's got a little bit wider of a collar than the Seven Sins jacket, and it's got a beaded neoprene that goes around. Uh, this is actually very comfortable. I've never really notice the uh, the collar on me when I've been riding. It's basically uh, it works well enough that you don't notice it's there. Uh, the inside here, you got your weather pocket. You can put your phone or whatever in there, zip it up. On the outside, another good thing, the zippers open upward. So in other words, uh, the reason I like that so much is you're riding, you got a lot of vibration, whether you're on a sport bike or riding a, a cruiser or a Harley. A lot of vibration. If your zipper does anything, the vibration will bring it down, which will actually close the pocket. Uh, a lot of jackets that I've seen, they open down. So that means you know they, they vibrate themselves open and you can lose your contents of your pocket. So this is a, a really simple and brilliant design all at the same time. what the uh, inside here looks like. It's got the, uh, the pocket so you can actually switch out your, your armor inside if you would like. TPR logo across the back, down the center it's got the uh, top dead center stripe that matches of course the gloves uh, and the helmet that you can get. It's got around the waist uh, Zip or not zip tie velcro closures so you can tighten up the waist to make it fit a little bit better. Uh, these are also made out of a rip stop, so they're very light, easy to move around. Uh, across the top here, 
you'll see this band here. It just looks like a, you know, one of the, the many decorative trim pieces on the jacket. This is actually highly reflective. So it's got a little reflective bead up here across the top of your back. You see the accordion panels a little bit better in this view. Uh, one of the only complaints other than the missing warmth liner is the zippers here, because this is ripstop, the material here that overlaps the zipper is very, very thin. So I have a lot of troubles with the uh, material getting caught in the zipper as I'm opening my pocket. The little fabric will get caught in there and the zipper will get stuck and I have to, you know, it doesn't hurt the material, it doesn't tear up the jacket because it's a very strong material, but it's just kind of a pain in the neck sometimes trying to wiggle the fabric out of the zipper so you can get your pocket open or get it closed. So. Um, not a big gripe, just one of the things I noticed that I didn't like about it. Um, all in all, it's a really great jacket. Um, I believe the retail, I saw them on Revzilla, they're $155, I believe. Uh, but again, like I said, I got this one for free as a replacement for my Seven Sins jacket. Uh, but check it out, I'll put some links on where to find it. I'll uh, use Revzilla because they seem to be the uh, most popular and the uh, best prices from what I've seen, uh, but I'll put some links so you can find this jacket if you would like to. Also, it comes in a few different colors. You have the blue here, there's a red one, there's a black one, and I do believe there's a uh, either a green or a high visibility color as well. Uh, and They all run the same color scheme. They'll have the white arm on the right side, they'll have the colored arm on the blue side that runs all the way down the back and down both chest pieces, and then all of them will have the underarm being that uh, ripstop and down the sides being the ripstop. They'll all have the same black accordion stretch panels as well. Uh, same venting and all that as they are the same jacket. So this is a speed and strength, top dead center, textile motorcycle riding jacket.